So my name is Manuel Giannoni Guzman. I am a research assistant professor at Vanderbilt University. The research that we just published in Period J is taking honeybee nurses that are one day olds and actually putting them in a control environmental chamber to test and assay how they develop their circadian rhythms in the absence of the hive environment. And the only thing that we're controlling our experimental variable is temperature. The really interesting and cool thing about this is that bees, when they emerge as adults and their nurses, they don't show a circadian rhythms in their locomotor behavior. They actually develop them later in life, just prior to foraging. And for a long time, and a lot of research that has come previous to ours has shown, you know, the hive, the hive environment actually has an effect on the development of the circadian rhythmicity. Now, what we've gone and done here is remove the hive environment and just take out, pick one variable. So remove the social component, remove all the brood and the pheromone, and just fiddle with the temperature. And by doing so, we actually see that having the temperature at around 33 to 35 degrees, which is actually what the hive would keep the temperature in the, at its core, is actually the best chance you get to develop rhythms. You get a about 80% of the bees that we put in this condition develop rhythms versus a lower temperature, say room temperature 25 degrees C, where we barely had half of the bees that we put into this experiment developing rhythms. In addition, we also show that if you just give them that 33 to 35 degree temperature range, the first two days that we have them in the chamber, that is sufficient to increase the number of bees that become rhythmic once you place them at 25 degrees again. So there's definitely like a very important critical period of developmental window there that also has an interplay in when they need to have this temperature so the circadian rhythm comes on board. Readers that go into this paper and go ahead and look at it, you know, I, I do think that the greatest lesson we can learn here is while honeybees are actually very social and very dependent on the hive environment, we can't ignore that there's a multitude of variables in there that are playing doing different things and what we've done essentially you know this is a very lab experiment where we're trying to remove all these variables to see the actual component of temperature and we now know that temperature is one of the important variables so we still don't know is it the most important variable you know if we had a hive environment with a low temperature would this would these results replicate or would the social context would actually overlay and override this so one of the things that i would like readers to take out of this is like while we're looking at these like wild organisms who have a very complex environment not to be afraid to come into the lab pick at one of those natural conditions and just figure out, okay, so this is what they see in the, in the field. This is what they see in their environment. What happens we, if we fiddle with it in the absence of everything else? What's the importance of this one variable?